Ow. Attention all employees, y'all please head to the cafeteria to listen to today's presidential address to the country. I had the president's strength to replace us with some Mickey Mouse workers. He wants to downsize a third stone carry of the lower wage workers. You think I should go down there, tell them my first name and last name? No, you dummy. We don't have time for that. But that would be very funny. Plus, I heard the Mr. Kana is down there to represent the scary workers. Hmm? Hmm. Ah, uh, what? What are you doing? Suck it up. We'll talk. Good morning, my fellow Americans. I've called this emergency State of the Union address because of the economy. I know the economy is up and down and up and down, but let's leave all those up and downs in the bedrooms for our wives and for our girlfriends. <laughs> Once again, through years of abuse and senseless spending, we must come together and bail out yet another institution. This institution is not only important to our daily lives, it is our nation's backbone. The post office, my fellow Americans, cannot survive in its current state. <laughs> Damn, this some good water, Joe. Who made this? My mother made it. Look at his skin. I think he's bisexual. And he's wearing cornbread on his hair. No, you stupid. It's called biracial. His mother's white and his father's African from Africa. And that hairstyle is called corn dog. Can both y'all please shut up with your stupid statements before I send you home without paying y'all today? Listen to your president. He has something important to say. So, we must bail them out. However, unlike the other institutions, we have bailed out, it will not cost us anything. Imagine a company where every employee can step in and perform every position and an unlimited supply of employees to choose from. Imagine employees who, who doesn't call in sick and works for less than minimum wage and doesn't take lunch breaks. You may sit there asking yourself, who would be so stupid to take on such a challenge? But the answer is all around us, in our kitchen, in our bathrooms, in our home centers, and shopping malls, parking lots. Yes, my fellow Americans, the Mexicans are what it takes to bail out the post office. They come in abundance. We can pick them up on a corner. They could come in variety of styles. Mexicans can now be part of a productive American economy. Mexicans will now eliminate the problem of lawsuits due to craft crossing. If Mexicans can deliver our food, why can't they deliver our mail? Who is that? Is that Mr. Canas? Look at his sign, da Daba Grasa. When he comes back, I'm gonna take care of him. The raisins. At least the Mexicans know what us Puerto Ricans went through. Now, I know you probably got some questions to ask for me. Go ahead. Is it true that you'll only be serving two years instead of the mandatory four? That is absolutely ridiculous. Where did you get such an idea like that? What paper are you from? A little family-run paper. My brother Russell and my sister Cheryl work there too. I didn't ask you about your family. I asked what paper you write for. The Daily Crow. The Daily Crow? I never heard of it. What is your name? My name is Jim Crow, sir. Did you hear that, Joe? Woo, woo. Heel, boy, don't bite him. Woo. Can you believe that, Joe? 
I heard him, Mr. President. It's a good thing the younger generation is totally ignorant of history. Excuse me, sir. I'll be right back. Where you going, Joe? <laughs> Hey, hey, what about the face value money? <laughs> Mister, come back here. What the hell, Joe? I'm the president. I'm running this country. Where the hell is mine? I'm sorry, Mr. President. All this talk is making me nervous. We interrupt the president's address to bring you this breaking news. Pop sensation, Mr. Michael Jackson has just passed away. Michael Jackson is dead. Oh my, Michael Jackson dead? If only he'd gone to prison, he'd still be alive today. Wow, Michael Jackson, he dead. I can't believe it. Hey, who is going to play Michael Jackson in the movie? Do you think it's going to be Tom Cruise or Black Prick? No, I don't think either of those two. I think Madonna's body looks more like his. I think she should play him. Yeah, well you forgot one guy, Eddie Murphy. He brack! That guy can dance and sing, great performer. Maybe he could play him. I think the trouble in choosing to play Michael Jackson is that he didn't even know if he was black or white. Just shut up everybody. Let's have a moment of silence. Do you think someone is going to pick up Bubbles and take him to funeral? Mm -hmm.